Family, what's up? I know you guys love when I do this. This is another Airbnb review from Tony vs. The World. We are in Lisbon, Portugal, one of my favorite places, even though I just got here like 10 minutes ago. Let's get into it. Jade, hit my drop. No, 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 no Tony vs. The World! All right, listen up, gang. I got a very, very small studio apartment from Lisbon, Portugal, booked it in Airbnb.com, and we're gonna go around it right now. And the funny thing is, you can kind of see the whole apartment right now anyway. There's the bed, they got a little closet back there, little kitchen, and the bathroom is back there in the corner. We can go take a look at it real quick, but it's really nothing to look at. But the point is that it really wasn't that expensive, and I booked it because I'm only gonna be here for a few days. Little shower back there, and that's it. That's really the, the extent of the apartment. I'm, I'm only gonna be, be here for a few days, and I booked it because it was about, $200 for like four days or something like that. I didn't want to go all crazy because here in Europe, here in Portugal, they use the euro and the euro to the dollar. The euro is usually a little bit more than a dollar. So, hey, we got to keep expenses low. This is all about doing things for free, flying around for free or at least cheaply as possible. So that's what I decided to do. Now, the crazy thing about this particular Airbnb is where it is. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They gave me directions, an address on how to get here. Address is completely off. The taxi driver took me uh, not a mile, but pretty far away from where this address that the Airbnb guy told me to go. So I literally had to get out of the, the cab and walk because I had no idea and trying to get, go back and forth with the guy. He was really responsive and really, really nice, but took me way out of my way. So. I'm being honest with you guys. If you try to book this particular place, because you know I'm going to leave a link in the description where this is, make sure you check <laughs> that you probably don't book this one. Be honest with you guys. It's all right. It's nice. It's clean. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's just in a crazy, crazy place. And you got to walk down an alley, a dark alley to get to it. And I am not joking. I'm about to show you the dark alley right now. You saw it, so now we're back up in the place. And you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, that just seems a weird to us Americans. Here in Portugal or here in Europe, they're, I guess they're kind of used to doing stuff like that, walking in alleys and having addresses that don't necessarily correspond with the streets and all stuff like that. I don't know, maybe that's just my bias. I don't know you guys that are in Europe watching this. Let me know if this is common from where you're watching. So like I said, this is a little short little video because this is a short little place. There's really nothing to see here. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this or if you've seen any place like this or if you even live in Portugal. If you do, I would love to hear from you. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.